On this episode of the Ritual Misery Podcast, did Kent finally have a garage sale? Not only that, I introduced someone to an awesome show. Wow. And also, we have the wonderful Tay Allen. Tay Allen? Is she here? I think she is. Oh, my God. Hello, and welcome to the Ritual Misery Podcast, episode 184 for Thursday, the 16th of August, 2018. This is a show where two lifelong friends, and finally we got a damn guest. Uh, and and, and I, w- I was going after that. And so we celebrate all things geek and uh, have a good time. Uh, I'm, I'm all flustered because every time I do an introduction, it doesn't even matter because Tay Allen is here! Yay! <laughs> hey, it's Tay! <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 think, yet? I think Skype gave you some reverb without you realizing it. <laughs> I give myself my own reverb, uh, Amos. Thank you so much. That's what it means to be a star. Oh, that's that's where I was wrong. That's that's what happened. That's that's where I went wrong, Kent. That's why I'm not a star. How about yeah, you? Well, you? I mean, th- that and probably a bunch of other reasons, but... Uh, that's got to yeah. be one of them, though. We'll, we'll add that to the list. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been like eight months since we've had Tay on. Yeah. I'm so happy Wait, that you're here. How are you doing, months? Tay? Has it been? I don't think it's been eight months. It's been since... Oh. Well, I mean, if you count the the South By So Wasted... Um, I don't oh, know. okay. That's why it didn't... Got it. Yes. I was like... <gasps> That's so long. Yeah, I, I have the craziest motherfucking year. So, <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. Hi, taters! <laughs> Yay! Um, so, Kent, uh, I did something really, really awesome this week. Oh. And um, I hope you're going to tell us about it. No, no, I'm just going to leave it there. I'm just going to let okay, it Okay, well, that's fall. cool. Um, Tay, I hope you did something <laughs> awesome this week that you can talk Your about. Nose. <laughs> no, what's up, dude? What 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 did you do? Um, I I did the production for Daily Tech News Show. Awesome! Like, like you were like the guy, like yeah, I, the the one pulling the levers and pushing the buttons and kicking the imps. Awesome! Yeah. So how'd that go? Pretty awesome. Uh, it went so well that I'm going to be doing it. I think all week, the last week of August. Excellent. So oh. so you. So you really step up your game from what you do on RMP. Right. No, that's a prof- that's a professional podcast. This is just us hanging out with Tay. <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, we've right. been doing this for guys four years. Only friends. I'm so glad that we get to do this every eight months. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, this is uh we've been doing this for four years just to hang out with Tay occasionally. That's that's what's been going on. Right. That's the whole reason that we started. That yeah, was the, the mission statement from day one. Yeah, the, the cat's out of the bag. Um <laughs> No, man, it's uh, it's it's pretty awesome, and uh, we've talked about some of my future plans, and it ties right into that, and it's it's looking pretty awesome. So, very excited. So, no, yeah. really, but about this garage sale, like, uh, I know you're, I know you're selling shit in order to buy Tay a plane ticket to come out there to Alamogordo and hang out. Um, yeah, because that's what, yeah, we're planning the uh, RMP fest that's going to happen. <laughs> no. Um. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. tell me more. Tell me more. <laughs> So we'd been planning this garage sale for a few weeks, and it finally happened last weekend. And um, I learned something very important. Um, there's not too many people that are in the market for VCRs. I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, I got good news for you, Tay. I have a few VCRs for you. <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> Ooh la la! How do you know just how to get me going before one of my starts? Oh my goodness. I have so many VHSs, and I do have a VHS player, but does it work? Questionable. <laughs> is it me or is it a machine? <laughs> you know, I, I probably should. I probably should actually keep these VCRs as spares because I do have one set up in this room. Because occasionally, I come across a VHS tape that I'm like, "Oh my god, what could this possibly be?" Like the tape that I found about, oh, what was it, Amos, about two years ago that was labeled Ritual Misery? Yeah. And it was recorded in, like, 1996, I think. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Uh, it's it's uh, a, uh, a a live uh, cat ass. I mean... Uh, <laughs> that tastes lovely. <laughs> special delivery, Tay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, now with on my lap for the rest of this show. <laughs> 
Jeez, there you go. At least you're warm. Um, yeah, that, that, that was a video that is available actually to our patrons in the treasure box uh, to go check out and watch you and I make total fools and asses of ourselves. Uh, when we were half our age. Yeah, no shit, like literally like half I, our age. Literally yeah. half the age we are now. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, yeah, yeah. So I'm, I probably want to keep the uh, the VCRs on hand. Just don't, um, just don't find the ones that your dad stashed away. Ah, oh, man, I, I hope I got rid of all those. Uh, what, what, what about you, Tay? Well, how, how has your week been? Oh, my God, y'all. Well, so I've got an onion ring on me, but I have something else to show you. <laughs> you know, when the webcam starts moving, it gets weird. So those are stitches. Did oh. you see those? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Stitches yeah. on your shin. Yeah, bitch. Leg, not you. Like my my leg is a bitch for getting that. <laughs> so she she, she scrapes her knee on a brick and she's like, "Kent's a bitch." <laughs> yeah, that's, Wait. yeah, that's a common thing. Like what? <laughs> like why do people cuss at me halfway around the planet? <laughs> it's every every, every yeah every time a shin gets scraped, Ken's name is is yelled in vain. It's it's the weirdest <laughs> yeah. thing. You know, it's it's hard to, it's hard I, to explain. I'm the deity of of leg scrapes and other injuries. Yeah. So, uh, so, 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 Tay, how did this happen to you? Okay, so I've been working, gentlemen, on a construction project. No one thinks this is real, but it is. It's very strange. I got roped into this, so I was laid off from my marketing job at the end of June, mm. which was mm. like my like money <laughs> so because you know the youtubes don't do money so mm -hmm. um i was laid off i had just gotten back from italy which we're going to talk about and um i'm putting energy out there for whatever my next amazing opportunity is but i have a couple show ideas and i'm really excited about them so like it's totally gonna be amazing no matter what um but uh so I came back and my parents who live in Austin were like, okay, we want to put in a pond pool and a pond pool. They're very big in Europe, uh, mm. is basically a cheap way to do a pool because it's just like vinyl and rocks and dank water. And like, you can put some <laughs> on it maybe. So I have been, uh, on a construction site with back hose. <sighs> <laughs> back, back hose and jackhammers and all these things and it's been so intense and I was mortaring a waterfall and fell in goofily and scratched the entire front of my leg and cut it open and I was in the emergency room yesterday so that's how my week's been going um oh boy was there blood everywhere uh, I have a really gory, gross picture. Should I send it to you? Oh, yes. <laughs> Duh. I mean, it, so we wiped the blood off the exterior, but you can see inside my leg. There may be a creeper out there that finds that hot. I don't know. I'm sending it. <laughs> <laughs> see the inside of Tay. Got it. Uh, <laughs> Maybe we should make this patron only. <laughs> That's not the first time I've heard a request for that one. But the first time I've heard my blood. <laughs> okay, Kent, oh, I'm going to text it to you, and I assume that you will put it on the appropriate channels. There you go. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my gosh. Um, so... That was interesting. How, how, how close to complete are you with the, uh, the dank pond or the... Pool it's a stink pond. It really was smelling today because it's starting to rot in the bottom because we didn't figure out how to do the filters right. Y'all, it's rough. It's real bad. <laughs> um, if you follow me on Snapchat, you can see it because I'm like, what do I do? That's also why I'm so like pink and red and orange right now. I have a legit real tan. <laughs> I found out from Ancestry.com that I am member Native American and I think that it came out this week. Well, congratulations for discovering your heritage. <laughs> um, you. If you'd like to know more, just let me know. I have the breakdown. <laughs> wow. Um, Kimberly is live, says, hi, Tay. Uh, hi, chat. How are you? I'm going to go ahead and say that I am doing wonderful. 
Um, this is a great opportunity to remind people that we are live every Thursday night at 7 p.m. Pacific if they want to come join us in chat room and watch us live. I said it's all pink on the inside. Mm. <laughs> True. I, well, oh, my gosh. So, so Tate, you mentioned <laughs> Snapchat. Where yeah. are you on Snapchat? If people oh want to follow gosh. that. Please follow me on Snapchat. It's the only social I like because it takes no effort. Um, I'm putting this out in the universe. If there's anyone out there who loves social media and wants to help me with mine, I will give you all the awkward content, but I am terrible at posting things, as all of my followers know. But my Snapchat is Tay Allen, <laughs> T-A-Y-A-L-L-Y-N. Excellent. A bitmoji today, and I hate it because my bitmoji looks nothing like me. Oh God, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> so for for the audio <laughs> listeners, we are showing a picture of uh, the inside of Tay. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, I'm I'm going to switch scenes, and this yep. is going to go uh, very poorly because I don't think this next scene is configured properly. But I'm going to go ahead and switch over so the people that are watching. Oh. Yeah, that is insane. It's like that, some, it's some gore. Um, yeah, I think a trip to the emergency room was warranted in this case. Uh, wow. so, I can't uh, believe that's on the internet now. I can't. <laughs> that is insane. Like, Out of all of the Tay Allen content on the internet, that's the one that you have an issue with. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Corny music videos, nip slips, and random acts of awkwardness, and she's worried about a cut on her leg. <laughs> I mean, to each their own, right? Like that's that's why you love me. That's that, no, no, that 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 is legit. That is that is legit. Amos, what did you get up to this week that was geeky? Um, I, uh, I'm 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 semi ashamed to admit that I got back into World of Warcraft. Now, could that possibly be because there's a new expansion? So funny thing about that, um, I signed back in and my character was still in Panda, Pan, Pandaren or whatever, wherever the Panda people are. Because my Pan, character, Pandaria, Pandaria, yeah, Pandaria. Like there you go. You know better than I do, and you don't even play the goddamn game. <laughs> I just know a lot of nerds. <clears throat> um, so my character's still over there. I can't figure out how to leave. I don't know where I'm at in the storyline. The last time I played was before Legion came out, was which was the expansion before the expansion before this expansion. So I'm currently about a third of the way through the content from two expansions ago. While everybody else is tripping out about this new expansion, I am two expansions back, seeing stuff for the first time and having a grand old time by myself, which is actually, um, other than the occasional conversation with AIE, which is uh, uh, LEI Ectaest, the Scott Johnson um, uh, guild, other than yeah, the random conversation, yeah, other than the conversation with them. I haven't talked to or chatted with anybody. So it's like this this zen moment where I get to play the game I like and nobody's freaking bothering me at all because everybody's playing the new content. It's amazing. I got like the entire world to myself. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful. Oh, wow. This, <laughs> this is sounding excellent. like a little wor world domineering. Like I'm a little scared, but I'm glad you're having fun alone. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, so the thing is that um, I'm I'm – I, I appear to most people to be very extroverted. And this is something I've recently realized by myself, but I'm actually very introverted. So my Zen, like my peaceful times are when I'm doing something kind of just focused on something that I don't have to think too much about. And I'm not having to deal with people. That's my Zen. So this is like, I got online on, on, on wow. And I was like, okay, well I'm going to end up having to like, I'm not going to be able to play for like, but an hour cause people are going to be bothering me. I'm going to be trying to do something. There's going to be somebody already there killing the monster I'm trying to kill or whatever. But, mm -hmm. but I haven't run across any, literally no one in the overworld at all. And so it's like, I have my own game to myself and like this chat on the side that I can just kind of keep track of, but not partake in. It's this perfect environment for me just to relax after a day. It's beautiful. Excellent. That's, awesome. That's uh, what games are supposed to be. Like, I remember being like, you know, 11 and 12 and like playing Banjo Kazooie by myself on my N64 every day after school. And I loved it. Mm -hmm. Like, that's the video games I love. Yeah. 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 Bring back all the one player goodness. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Hey, so 
Do you guys know the TV show Carnival that used to be on HBO years ago? I know mm-hmm. of it. I never watched it. I highly recommend it. It is on Amazon Prime now, and I thought it was a great opportunity to introduce my son Lucas to it. And uh, that is that's the geekiest thing that that I had time to do this week. We have uh, dived right in to season one, and it is amazing. Number one, to revisit the world of Carnival. And number two, to see my son react to it and hypothesize on what the show is even about. Um, it's a blast. So check it out. Um, it is on Amazon Prime. So everybody out there that has Amazon Prime should go look. And if you have Amazon Prime, that also means that you have Twitch Prime, which means that you have a free subscription to give to somebody and you should give it to us at twitch.tv slash ritual misery. Because we work really hard and not working really hard to earn that free <sighs> subscription. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, but we would love you forever. Real quick, uh, MBM in the chat asks if uh, if they log back into WoW, do they have to pay for the expansions? No, you only have to pay for the latest one. All the others are already are, are given to you for free just for logging in. So it's all the content up until the current expansion that just came out this week is already included in whatever plan you've already had. So. <clears throat> and dishes. I love that. <laughs> a bish. That's a thing. You know, That's, you guys take, are talking in such a loving way. This may be like the love show. You know? Oh, the story uh, love fun. show. Amos finding himself again. <laughs> I've got a cat on my lap. I'm just saying. It may happen. <laughs> Aww. Oh, and now we're getting hearts in the chat. See, this is yeah. the kind of thing that we, this is probably what we needed this week. I love our chat. <laughs> I, I, I switched my meds so I could use all the love I could get right now because I'm kind of in the transition period. <laughs> um, Speaking of love, Tay, I've got a question for you. Do you love Doritos? Do I ever? <laughs> I love Doritos. Please hire me, Doritos. <laughs> Can we get a clip of that that we can send to my agent so she can forward that along? Of course. Yeah, somebody, somebody in the chat, I... clip that out. Yeah, somebody, somebody in the chat, clip that out and uh, make that a thing so we can get that going. Um, oh my! In the chat, it's the love show starring cats and leg gore. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking uh, awesome. Now, you, now that that does bring up a uh, an interesting point. Cats, for whatever reason, I have found. Um, enjoy wounds on humans, especially if they can find a way to lick them when they're not expecting it. Have you ever experienced yeah. that? Like you, like you got a, like a, you got like a big nasty uh, uh, mosquito bite, something like that, on your leg, and you're, you're you're finally ignoring it, and the cat comes over and licks it, and now it just oh. itches like ten times worse than it did before. Yeah, so just suddenly you have like wet sandpaper on your leg. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, that's that, could, that could just be because I don't. Me and cats don't get along. Like they don't like me. Very much. <laughs> yeah, this. You know who cool. I'm not. You know who I'm not getting along with is Movie Pass. Oh uh, my god! <laughs> they keep changing their shit. I opened up my Movie Pass today. Not that I was going to go see a movie today because I've got more important things to do, like Ritual Misery podcast. But I opened yes. it up to see what showings were available this evening. Zero. There were no showings available in MoviePass. And wow. also, I checked my email and I got a letter from the CEO of MoviePass saying like, oh, yeah, um, sorry for um, not every movie's available to you right now. How about zero movies are available to me? Fuck you, MoviePass. Anyway, uh, <laughs> speaking of movies. <laughs> so much for the love. <laughs> so, yeah, one thing that I do love about movies, it's though. God, motherfuckers. <laughs> One thing I do love about movies is our participation in the B Team Diamond Club movie draft. Do we have some audio from Big Voice J this week, Amos? Of course we do. So Big Voice J, won't you tell us uh tell us how it's going over there? Welcome to your BT Movie Draft Minute, presented by DiamondClub.tv for the week of August 13th, 2018. I'm your host, Big Voice J. Smoking will kill you, bacon will kill you. Smoking bacon, on the other hand, now that's the cure. 
Let's go to the scoreboard. Team Walking Drunk is in last place with a $14 million debut from Slender Man and a total of $379.9 million. Team Game Night is in fifth place thanks to the Meg's $55 million weekend, bringing their total of $511.2 million. Team Ritual Misery is in fourth place with $697.1 million. Team Ever Drink falls to third place with $757.9 million. Team The Bond Squad is in second place with $765.3 million and continuing to look down on us all, each team movie party with $1,029.2 million. That's your movie draft minute. All totals are accurate as of August 15th, 2018. If you want to follow along with the progress of the movie draft, go to tinyurl.com slash bteamdraft18. The number's 18. So bteamdraft18. Um, I have two comments here. Number one, we are locked into fourth place. That's going to be our, our final position. Uh, yep. The second comment is at the beginning of the draft, I thought have a drink was going to walk away with this thing because they had Avengers and a couple other movies. Mm-hmm. And not only are they sitting in third place right now, but we were about to catch up to them. Yep. And mm. as, as, as weird as this all started, we're going to finish up within a hundred million dollars of like second, third and fourth. We'll all be within a hundred million dollars of each other. Yep. Yep. That's but movie party is like, has absolutely destroyed us. We can add up a few of our, a, a few of our uh, totals and yep. maybe compete with them. <laughs> no. Yeah. No. Insane. Uh, congratulations to movie party. Yep. Yeah, and we've only got a few weeks of this thing left, and it's already it's a done deal. Yep, that's sad. All right, so back to better news. Um, <laughs> where you know, news where we didn't lose the game. Uh, yeah, I'm 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 kind of broken up over over the whole movie draft thing, dude. Like I I really thought we could have done a lot better. <laughs> yeah, like I just tried to force myself to move past it. I'm just like I'm like I'm heartbroken. I'm just like man, this is. <sighs> Well, the good thing is that here in a couple of months, we're going to be drafting for the winter movie draft. So yep. that's cool. And Tay, you should be a part of it. Yes. Well, I think I want to say thank you to everyone for cheering me on while I was dancing to that. I think I don't know what this movie draft thing is. I have no idea what you're talking about. But <laughs> can I come be the dancer for it? <laughs> Absolutely. I, I don't think there'd be any, uh, any arguments with that. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we'll we'll feed you some details in the post show about the movie draft and how you can participate. Um, Just moving dancing, on. Please. Okay. <laughs> no you. drafting, only dancing. Yes. Wonderful. Uh, Amos, do you have another sound clip to uh, cue up for us? Um. Hold on. I'm. <gasps> Pull the lever, monkey. Oh my gosh. Can please have your attention. In the last 30 minutes, kids done something. Now you've got a guess. He was very excited. Kids games. Play with him. 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 So, yes, I do have a game for this week. And I call it So You Think You Know Me, the Tay Allen edition. Ooh. In so this you game, think you I. Me- I am going to pit Amos against Tay. Amos, wait, 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 wait. I'm, 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 I, I gotta visualize this a little bit, man. Like you can't just throw games at me with Tay. It, 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 like I gotta, I got, right. I, I gotta kind of like, kind of get in the mood. Like, what would this box look like? Okay, so it's got to be an awkward box, right? So is it like you go to the store and you buy the Tay Allen edition, and the lid doesn't fit on the top; it fits on the side, so like it, it, it can never <laughs> well, I mean, quite it, close right. You well, open right. it I mean, out through the corner, and the hole is too small, so you have to like shake it and kind of dig out the pieces. You can only get one piece out at a time. You got to like use your little pinky finger to get in there and pull them out. Yes. And forget yes. about putting them so back in. Pinky. Yeah. So much. Oh no! You'll never keep the pieces after one play. It's yeah. just done forever. <laughs> yeah. In, in fact, in, in fact, a random piece will dissolve uh, within an hour of being pulled out of the box. Like it's. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's See? magical. Yeah, yeah, it's it's, it's like Doctor Claw's uh, little messages for uh, for Inspector Gadget. Yes, 
directions only in Finnish. Right. But but they're not just in Finnish. They're also backwards and upside down. So even Google <laughs> Translate can't figure this shit out. That's very with, true. with random wingdings in there, like in, in important places, like you think it's actually a symbol to be used, but it's really just a random Microsoft wingdings squiggle thing or something. <laughs> yep. I like it. And the bar, like the barcode is a circle. There would be some cleavage. And then there would also be. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because when you open the corner, you look inside and you, it looks like you can see boobs in there. But there's just <laughs> there's just not like no matter how far you stick your pinky, you can't get the boobs. <laughs> yes, it's just a peek. It's yeah. just a little flash. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> and there's a giggle button. And when you press it, nothing happens. <laughs> <laughs> That's the take, Abe. <laughs> That's See? amazing. I was just going to sit back and like forget about the game. I was just going to listen to this two person improv thing uh, going well, on. Well, don't forget the rapper because the rapper's got one of those little cellophane things <laughs> like we pull off cigarettes, you know, except you pull it off and it's actually wrapped around 36 times. Yes. Oh and my God. Split 07. The missing piece is found three months after throwing the game away, right where you originally thought it fell. Yes. 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 But you won't even know there was a missing piece because it makes no sense. Yeah. So, so you, so you unwrap the cellophane thir- uh, 36 times, right? And when you get done, the cellophane hasn't been taken off. It's just a nonsense wrapper around the outside that doesn't actually connect to anything. Yes, but you love every moment of it. It's everything you've always wanted. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It you guys want to play this game. <laughs> you don't even say army. Oh. <sighs> and, and every time you play the game, a Tay gets her wings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I'm gonna cry. Oh my god, that's the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. I love it so much. I love it so much. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, that's just the rules. I mean, I'm, I'm not making this shit up. That, that's the rules. It's in there. That's On me. a very it's special so episode of the Ritual Misery podcast. Me. Like you can you can go to um uh, readtaysrules.org and you can see the rules right there. It's readtaysrules.org. Um yeah. Yes, yes. But you got to figure out how to spell it, and there's wingdings involved again. So, you, like, it's it's kind of a mystery the URL. But once you find it, you'll see all the rules right there, and it says in there. Um, yes, perfect. Yep. And if anyone ever wants to play with me, they just have to tweet me or yeah, yeah. Facebook me. And and and, uh, and there are dice. It's a one sided die. <laughs> Yeah, like you know, um, when you're playing Pokemon cards, after you have to flip those coins. Oh, the like pogs. how do we make something where you don't have to flip it? Because I fucking hate flipping. No, I'm no, yeah, so yeah, bad. just a one sided die. It's a it's a fucking marble, you're but it's got a one it. on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's always a one. Yeah, like which yeah. is never a good thing. No, no, no. Every time you roll a one, you got to go back one space. So like, it's, yeah, it's a catastrophic you fail. Yep. <laughs> We, we really should focus group this and make this a thing. Uh, so <laughs> speaking of focusing, Dragon Con. we oh have God, an we actual game people. to play here. Uh, we, we won't be a Dragon Con, unfortunately. Okay, well, uh, who knows if I will either, but we can play at something. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon Con 2019. <laughs> Take on, come play this one game, and I'll sing Mass Text. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> well, that's in the rules too. That if you're playing the game, you have to sing mass text the entire time. You have to go like this. Yeah, yeah, it's part of the it's part of the thing. And if your significant other asks you why, you have to go. Hmm. <laughs> yep. Yeah. See, Ken, you just don't know about about Tay's game here. Yeah, I guess not. I mean, See, you you thought you were going to roll in here with your game, and we're like, no. I had something else entirely in mind, but you know, <laughs> by all means, continue. <laughs> okay, so what's this game? What's this? What's, what's this? I mean, now that we know all about this game, like, what's your game? Like, <laughs> wow, yeah, wow yeah. us, dude. What's well, it game, sounds Ken? considerably less interesting now. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, so this is this is called You Think You Know Me. Amos, you are going to be answering general questions about Tay. Ooh. And Tay, you are going to be answering questions about your previous RMP appearances. Oh, oh my God. This is going to be fascinating because I'm always such a wackadoodle with you guys. I'm so comfortable that I go into a state of just like, I don't know, oh. like otherworldness. And, I don't remember and, anything. As an <laughs> As an additional bonus layer of of interest, I have I brought the receipts for the answers to these questions, so I have the proof. Mm. 
And Good, because you know we question everything you do, Kent, because you are so, the, so mysterious. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is after after we do a question and we get the answer, I am going to message Amos a link to the proof, and then he will he will play it will, or display it. I will attempt okay. to play or display. <laughs> All right. Oh, thank you for sending me Tay Rules and Beam. You guys are so sweet. <laughs> I'm going to save that for <laughs> my children. That I'm not having. <laughs> You're a, you've been hanging out with Crunchy too much. <laughs> oh, God. oh dear God! I yeah. I don't know if I'm we'll here get... yet, but I cannot imagine having offspring at this time. <laughs> Only onion rings. All right, yes. Amos, we're gonna we are gonna start with you. My first question about Tay is: Yes or no? Has Tay ever pooped in the woods? Yes. No. <laughs> um, so I'm sending you a link that contains the answer, but Tay, if you want to um, discuss this, whether or not you have pooped in the woods, by all means. I Okay, I'm like, what did I say? I, I remember <laughs> us talking about this. <laughs> um... All right, so play it. I, so yeah, go ahead, go ahead and yeah. play it. Amy. I've never pooped in the woods. I didn't think of the camping thing. I just thought of the like, oh my god, you're so drunk that you like have to poop in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> you dick, you bitch. <laughs> Amy, Amy, play the next couple of seconds of that. But I've never done that. <laughs> okay. So, do you? <laughs> so, yeah, that's well because that... I thought I'm, I haven't pooped in the woods, but did I? Did I explain that to you guys? Okay, now I know how to play. You know I never get these games until we're done. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, it's gonna it's, it's gonna get it's gonna get better. All right, okay. Tate, the next okay. the next question is for you, and this one should be pretty easy. Okay. Uh let's see here, here we go. All right, Tate, your first question is on your first official guest appearance as mm-hmm. or i'm sorry your first official episode as a guest on ritual misery you revealed your nickname while growing up was yes. what trailer taylor or trailer park taylor trailer taylor i didn't need an a or b because kent this was my motherfucking life that i had to live with for years so yes kent it was trailer taylor <laughs> with an eye patch <laughs> 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 and uh <laughs> yes of, obviously that was that was uh correct so give us give us a quick rundown your your 30 second story on 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 how you got to where you are sure grew up super fat 200 pounds no friends trailer taylor that gave me social skills <laughs> was hated in middle school then was like bitchy right, in right, high right. school because i <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, that's so funny. Looking back, look at that little blondie. <laughs> yeah, that was from like three and a half years ago, I think. Yeah, because I was in from... Korea. Okay, yeah, which that's... is better, that Tay or this Tay? Oh, the current Tay is always the best Tay. Oh, Correct. Oh my god, I can... Amos, my heart will go on for you. <laughs> <laughs> I've been married a long time. I know the answers to these questions. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I'm good at this game. All right, Amos, <laughs> your next question about Tay. As which Sailor Moon character has Tay cosplayed? Oh. Sailor Mercury or Sailor Uranus? Sailor Mercury. <gasps> yes! Because I just made a joke about Mercury and Uranus the other day because we were talking about Sailor Moon. Amazing. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, oh my God, yes. I'm so, so glad you made a joke so that that is correct (laughs) (laughs) awesome oh my god taylor moon yes love you taylor moon that's yep exactly (laughs) all right tay your next question is okay about myself God, I hope I know this. <laughs> Your second RMP episode was plagued with audio problems. 
in part because you were recording from where? <laughs> a busy oh. street corner or a bathtub? The bathroom, the bathroom from the tub by the toilet with the backward wrapper hat. Let's mm. see it. Let's see it. <laughs> All right. Oh um, yeah. Yeah. There's the uh, link for you, Amos. Oh my gosh! It's By the so way, this this episode was entitled "Good Sex or Bad Talk." I have this nice setup here in this bathtub. I'm going to show everyone around. Here's the that. Here's the bathroom. 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 So that episode had followed uh, Cabo, right? And the Cabo was a previous episode. I think and so, yeah. Cabo's audio was also horrible. And <laughs> after Tay's audio was horrible, I sat down and I literally stayed up for 36 or 39 hours straight just working on audio until I had it figured the hell out. Because I was so yeah. upset with my, with my, with the yeah. setup. Dude, you were so upset at the beginning of episode 91. You've got about a 30 second dialogue that you, you put in post apologizing for the audio and making a promise to never have this kind of audio again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my well, gosh. Like, that's very sweet, but, like, I also was in a tub, so. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was a great episode, though. I We should go back and watch that. I remember being lit and just weird and very gangsta cred. Was, was it the yeah. uh, the three lines of Coke or was it the, the margarita shots? I'm only an alcohol drinker. No drugs. Mm. Must have been my three lines of Coke. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> right. Got it. That's why I understand. All right, Amos, <laughs> your, your next question. I don't actually have a video clip to go with this. Uh, but your question is, which character did Tay play in the movie Call Me Brother? Was it Mercedes or Sydney? Ooh. I'm going to go with Mercedes. Tay, is that correct or not? It's not. Look at that. She's angry at me. <laughs> yeah. I don't believe I, Amos has seen this movie. Show. I, I have not. Is it out? No, <laughs> See? I haven't seen it either. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I I'd been waiting for it. Like, what the hell? Like, yeah, thing, like I have some kind of, like, of all the links you send me to Netflix and shit. You couldn't have sent that one to me, you jerk. Like, oh my god. Okay, okay. okay so I, yeah, we have to have. Oh my, when it comes out, we have to have a huge online watching party of Call Me Brother for all of Diamond Club. Like, maybe we can do yep. it on the show. Please clip this because I want to send this to the director. They're putting it in film festivals right now, but all of us, we need oh, to watch it together. Oh How God. amazing would that be? Like Di a nationwide online watching party. A Diamond Club movie party. Yeah, that With would be perfect. Fun. Everyone wears pajamas. We throw popcorn at our webcams. It's great. <laughs> I might actually Excellent. show up for that one, Kent, because it's always on nice when I have other stuff going on. I'd, I'd actually show right. up for that one. Yeah. Uh, no, that would be absolutely Let's awesome. All right. Down. Tay, your next question. Uh oh. In your third episode, everyone misheard something you said, and the incident okay. threw everyone into fits of laughter and ended up being <laughs> the inspiration for the episode's title. Okay. What was it that we thought you said? <laughs> and here are your choices taint or butthole? <laughs> Taint. I remember this episode too. Oh, my little taint face. Oh, okay. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> Amos, uh, bring the receipts. Make my a taint EP. Who uh, can read it the fastest? <laughs> hold I, hold I, on, hold I, on. I, I gotta go back a little bit. Lannister and Chamberlain. Next. One point, Lannister. Point number two. Make my taint EP. <laughs> like, the look on our faces is just like, what the <laughs> yeah. hell is going on right now? <laughs> oh, and it gets better. It's better. Let it, let it play for I, I think what I heard is not what you said. 
<laughs> Thank you, Kent. I was. Yeah, the, the chat, chat room's agreeing with this. Uh, we probably shouldn't comment on your taint. Uh, <laughs> yeah, definitely heard something about uh, maybe eating a taint. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and it's happening again. <laughs> oh my god, I'm dying. <laughs> oh my gosh. And what? as Squid points out in the chat, that episode was in fact titled Taint Allen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I love you guys. Like I'm so happy that's on the internet. I still don't know how I feel about my leg, but I'm so happy that is. <laughs> oh my gosh! All right, uh, you mean, you mean this leg? Into... This leg? That one? Uh, that one. Fine. Yes, fine. That one. All right. So moving into the next question, right now the score is one to three in Tay's favor. <laughs> that doesn't surprise hey, me. Guys, this literally is only a game about have I said this? <laughs> 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 so I'm glad. <laughs> All right, your your next okay. question, Amos. Mm -hmm. Which which of these are real lyrics from Tay's song Mass Text? Mm. A, you only want to sext. Or B, it's so easy to check my box. I, wow. Um. <laughs> <laughs> One of those really is my lyric, and that you know, is amazing. What a great song! <laughs> and here's the it's problem: I, hit. I think they're both in there. Are you sure the only one of them's a lyric in the song? Only one Amos of them is, is very smart because in a different song, the other one may be in there. Did you know that, Kent, when you were doing this? I no, I did not know that the other lyric so, that I completely you made up. Like a is actually... You really think like a Tay because you <laughs> your thing you came up with as the opposite is in cause for pause. <laughs> Damn it! All right, I'm gonna have to listen to that song again. Uh, we should listen to that in the, in the post show and. Uh, oh, and, and let's just party to it. It's actually really good. <laughs> Shocking, I uh, know. Amos. <laughs> Um, so waiting on an answer, which is the real lyric? You only want to sext or it's so easy to check my box. I'm trying to play the song in my head now because you're, you done <laughs> fucked with me. Aww, that's so cute that you know it. That makes me feel so special. <sighs> Even though you don't know the lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with C. So you're going to take the uh, the automatic uh, no points, <laughs> right? <laughs> right. Because you don't because want, you don't to, want get... to be wrong. Exactly. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, we know what's going on there. Just, just, just so we're clear, Ken does not warn me about these games at all. I don't know the name of the game or the topic. I don't know anything about it until our guest does. So. Yep. Yep. All right. So the the correct lyric is, Tay. It's so, it's so easy to check my box. Your texting etiquette? Yeah. No, it sucks. <laughs> exactly. Um, okay. You will so, never forget hey, that again now. <laughs> no, no, I will not. I will, I, that is going to be burned. I'm going to listen to that song the entire way to work tomorrow just to have it completely re -memorized. <laughs> I think the problem is that every time I hear this song, hear, hear your music, I'm drinking because we're at South By and I'm just like... <laughs> Your music makes me drink, is uh, what I heard. No, drinking makes me... Well, uh, that, that doesn't sound much better. Um, I, think, I think it's just pure coincidence that I'm always drinking when Tay Allen songs are playing. Yeah, it's just pure, it's coincidence. pure coincidence. It's not an evil yeah. mastermind making sure that's happening so you enjoy them more. It's really not. Oh. <laughs> you, you have known Brian longer than we do. He is a master manipulator. This might actually be like... She might just be throwing... She might be giving us the right information to throw us off the clues. Oh, Ryan so she's and like a Justin Sith Lord. created me in a deep lair one day and released me upon night attack so that I would forever haunt your dreams. Mm. Well, it's mm. worked for Kent. <laughs> it's 
<laughs> God damn. <laughs> All right, Tay, your next question. On your most recent RMP episode, <clears throat> we played a game where you had to speak in which accent? Oh, a oh southern God. accent or a Cockney <laughs> accent? Yes, the Cockney accent, sir. <laughs> that is correct. Amos, uh, do you have the receipts for this one? I do. Uh, here's the thing, though, man. I could have gotten all her questions right. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should have switched. Like, do I know my own lyrics? That one time I uh, sang live with Justin and Possum Posse, I think at like our third South by together. Mm. Oh my God. I did not know my own lyrics. I was so plastered. I had Tite written on my boobs. Like, it was done. <laughs> that, that was Kent's first South by and our first so, uh, South by So Wasted. Yeah. I just um, about y'all and our South by this past year, because I guess I haven't been on since then, was amazing. Mm, I had so much great. fun with all of you. The best time. It's my favorite thing now. Like, I love it so much. That was well, Amos, I just fun. realized. Amos, I just realized the link that I sent you is not uh, it's not time stamped. Right. So I don't know. Just like go to the, like the, the dead center of, of this episode also, and I saw the image posted in the chat oh my god i've never had someone make an emoji out of my leg gore before thank you so much and beam thank you so much <sighs> oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> that is uh <laughs> that's pretty great um that's pretty awesome yeah so googly eyes with the you know what i love about it being I, I love that even even your emoji has smeared lipstick on its mouth. <laughs> oh my god! That's oh, what happens after South by So Wasted. Oh. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, let's see if we can catch this uh, Cockney accent real quick. Oh my god! Oh, Meet Lake Gore, third cousin to Al Gore. <laughs> superstar as we thought they would be. Um. Yeah. The okay. thing that this goes through in the bathroom. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to find it. Yeah. Right. We'll, yeah. We'll, okay. We'll, that's we'll fine. find the post show. Fine. All right, let's yep, go. Exactly. All right, Amos, your next question is... A dismal failure of intelligence. <laughs> Tay has declared what to be the original love of her life? Your choices are a cat or a horse. This is very hard. I'm... Has a 50 50 of getting it correct. I'm going to go <laughs> with the platypus. I mean, I mean, the horse. Um, go ahead and open up this, uh, this link that I just sent you and see if you are correct. Oh, look at that. That's a sweet picture. Yeah. Hey, Tay, could, you just, could you describe to the audio listeners what we're looking at right now? Yes, it is me kissing a horse on the mouth, lip to lip, which I often like to do. And I'm just going to leave it at that. <laughs> um, yes. So if you want to see kiss or kiss, uh, if you want to see Tay kiss a horse, uh, <laughs> head over to twitch.tv. I really think up some strange sexual preferences from some of my potential fans because we have some <laughs> leg core. We have me kissing a horse. I don't know if we've ever gotten this kinky on one of these shows, honestly. Um, um, I, think, I think we've we've probably degraded into much worse territory on this show before, that's uh, true. Tay. All I'm right, your final. It. What's bad is all three of us are like, hmm. It, yeah, there's a very real possibility it's devolved <laughs> much further than this before on the internet live on on the internet yeah all right so <laughs> thank you Tay. uh for bad weave saying horse kissing doesn't draw the big bucks okay good to know i'm unemployed so thank you so much i will not make a porn with that <laughs> oh dear god um all right take your final question you okay. and RMP co-hosted the Diamond Club meetup at this year's South by So Wasted, like we were just yeah. talking about. At which Austin bar did we hold that event? 
Oh, you how clever of you, Kent. how guy was. That's not fair. All right. I, well, you have two choices. It was either Darwin's <laughs> okay. Pub or the Handlebar. Yes. Okay. Oh, I knew it was a D. I was going to say Drunken Duck, but that's just me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was Darwin's Pub. <laughs> it was indeed Darwin's Pub. It was. Yes. Uh, and shout out to them. They take very good care of us. And man, yep. I mean, the drinks flow there. Yeah. Oh, and we were dancing and they're, yeah. Oh, that was fun. That was good times. I love that with you guys. Remember that yep. guy came through the picture of us? How cute that was? Yes, that was. I was actually just looking at that the other day. I was looking through uh, all of the like past South by photos and uh, that came up and I was like, oh, yeah, that was awesome. The guy that oh he kind of did like a caricature he sketch. Got all those '90s CD covers for people. <laughs> for whatever reason, that was a hit. So, I know yeah. it worked so well. Pe people were like arguing over who got to get which one. Like, no, I got to pick first, and they were like shuffle. It was, it, <laughs> it, it, it was awkward, and it was lovely. Yeah. <laughs> That was a City of Angels soundtrack cover. Yep. Yes, it was. You're welcome, Diamond Club. <laughs> Forever. All right. So, yeah. So, uh, that was the game. Uh, Tay, you have won five to two. Oh, thank you for getting two, Amos. And hey, thank I God I won this one. Kent, you're so sweet. You started giving me games I can win. Because if I didn't win <laughs> games literally asking about my life, then that would be really sad. <laughs> So we covered some things that have happened in Tay's past, but now I am curious what is going on in Tay's present. So Tay, what you got going on? So I'm an opera singer. <laughs> A real deal opera singer? A real deal opera singer. And I have a song coming out called Say Con May. I actually just received the mix right before we signed on. Do you guys want me to play it and see like a little sneak peek? I haven't even heard it. Oh, oh wow. Oh, Holy shit. All I, right. Um, I, I was only half interested until you said you hadn't heard it. Now it's completely the only thing I want to listen to right now. <laughs> yeah. Um, I haven't heard yeah, it at if all. You, if you can give us like a, yeah, like a 30 second clip of it would be great. Sure. Um, you want me to start from the be or in the middle? It's a duet here. How does 48 seconds sound? Yep. Sounds wonderful. Yep. <laughs> Sounds right on time. Okay, I'm going to go to the chorus. Let's see. I can't sing. <laughs> <laughs> I that, can just sounds, <laughs> that sounds really good. Now, this is this is an opera song. Is this part of a larger project or is this like a standalone? Yeah. Song? So, so I was always a classical singer. Oh, thank you, chat. <laughs> oh, my God. You guys uh, are so cool. Say Conte. Say Conte. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. That's so awesome. I love you guys so much. Um, so yeah, so like last time I was on, we had that really cool deep discussion, just kind of talking about life at the beginning. And I've, I grew up as a classical singer. I love doing the funny pop stuff. And like, that's not going anywhere. But I also love just really beautiful, inspiring music. And I do truly feel called to create like uplifting, positive stuff you know whatever genre that is and yeah I I wanted to do something a little more classical it was so fun for me to sing in that style and um 
I'm just excited. So what what I'm seeing with this for the future or the present, I like that. Oh, thank you for the fire emojis. That's so sweet. Um, that's so awesome. I uh, oh, I'm so happy right now. Um, but yeah, I I'm feeling this urge to create these covers, and they can be of any genre. But like as I think of them and they come into my life, so it's kind of like just following a story. So, um. I don't want to give away too much yet because I'm going to post this on my channel, but like every new thing that I put out over the next couple months and I have like a couple projects I'm working on, there's going to be like a written story element and how it pertains to my life. So sort of just mm. showing like how, yeah, like this, a human processes things in this world. Like I'm a woman and like what's coming to me? happening in my life that's making me think of a certain song and then just sort of letting the visual of the music video like live on its own but you kind of get this backstory too so it's just kind of like nice companion pieces i guess nice yeah that's that sounds absolutely amazing um at the end of the episode we're gonna plug all the places that people can follow you so that they can they can see these things as they drop um no that is freaking that is freaking awesome um, so say con say con is that the name of the song? Yeah, so it's Italian and it means there for me. And that's Excellent. all I'm gonna give away right now. But there's a really yeah. cool music video coming. Totally unlike anything I've ever done, but really cool. Awesome. So this was in Italian, which is the language that they speak in a place that um you may or may not have visited recently. <laughs> wow. Yes. Hey, 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 Kent, um, go ahead and, and rotate your shoulder a little bit there. I think you pulled something when you were stretching. Uh, <laughs> I'm working on my segues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah keep, 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 awesome. keep working. <laughs> okay, yeah. but before we go into that chat, can I get a clip? It, it, this is hard. I'm so sorry to ask. Can I get a clip of us, like, listening and me explaining it? Because I'll use that with the RMP logo right before I put it out, this will be like, uh, the promotional stuff for it. Mm. We can just use this and us on the show. Nice. That would be awesome. The, cool. the co-promoting thing is, is awesome. Yes. Awesome. Also, I, before I talk about Italy, I have to shout, give a shout out, um, to coming soon. Mass text, the opera. <laughs> that is epic. And if we could crowdfund mass text, the opera, Oh my like, God. <laughs> Should we internet let us know? <laughs> can, can, you and I would be in in the the opera, but we'd be like the uh, we'd be the guys up on the balcony. Yes, you know? the Muppets. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That'd be us. Like in between acts, like as as the as the people with real talent are on stage, like like getting themselves fixed up and taking a breather or taking a piss or getting a drink or whatever. Me and you are up there just ragging on each other, not even not even really paying attention yeah. to anything else we going on. Yeah, I, I think their names are Sadler and Waldorf. We need to work on their laughs. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> no, but yeah. we have to Nailed be RMP. It. it has to be Amos and Kent. Guys, I think you start the Broadway show and like you're the announcers and you explain what's going on because the plot won't make any sense. <laughs> oh, oh that, that's that's it, Kent. Like at the, every time the curtain draws, you and I can walk in out there and explain it to the idiots <laughs> in the audience. Right, right, but, but it's all like it totally improv, so that we make it up as as we go. We yeah. won't even know ourselves. Yeah, we just start Wait, talking about random things that aren't even happening on the stage. Opera at a con, and you guys like, what if we made this? And by we, I mean mostly me, but like this could be really cool. <laughs> oh, I'm I don't in. You know what? Anything. I'm in. Yeah, I'm in. Yep. This sounds amazing. It'd be even better, kid, <laughs> if. If you and I went to to bring we, we we came out to explain idiot style what's going on, uh, like in in the musical, but yeah. we were kept backstage in the green room and didn't know which act or which scene we were being brought out of. Right. Yes. So we don't yeah, know when when the show starts or anything else. We're just like sitting back in the green room and they're like, "You guys are on," and we got to go out there and not having ever seen the musical, we have to explain idiot style yes. what's going on to the audience. I'm sure yes. that won't cause any confusion, and it's going to be lovely. <laughs> it's going to be super awkward, and I think it'll be wonderful. <laughs> I'm pretty excited. Like, I'm feeling very confident. I think like our community 
and the world needs this. It needs Mass Text the Opera. <laughs> what the world needs now is it text. Is text. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, and we can, and we can get Jackie Hearn to write the liner notes. Um awesome. yes. All of all of the things. Like yeah. it needs to happen. That'd be- um I I'm, I'm feeling very compelled. I will say we talk about a lot in this show, but I feel very strongly about this. Yeah. Most of what we say is bullshit, but this, <laughs> this is going to happen. Oops, you guys. <laughs> There's no bullshit when it comes to musicals on the RMP show. But what if we did, like... If, if we're only fun. serious about one thing on this show, damn it. It is, it is musicals. It is ad, ad-lib musicals. <laughs> it's ad-lib motherfucking musicals. But yeah, what if, what if we did, like, a four-month con tour... We went around the country and did Mass Text the Opera only at cons. And, and, only, and only unannounced, except for like like a very select <laughs> group of people. Well, right, because the joke will be that no one received the Mass Text. No, no, you're, 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 you're so on it right now. Like exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, and a title just popped up, title suggestion. Brainstorming Mass Text the Opera. I love that. Yes. <laughs> yep. All right. So we'll do some more brainstorming on this project in the post show as well. Um, Tay, you were in Italy. You were in actual, actual Italy. What in the world were you doing there? Eating pizza. Oh, my God. Well, I've just been following my little angel intuition and spending money with Wild Abandon and just going on things. So that's cool. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, so – I had this opportunity to go to Italy and it didn't really make any sense, but I just bought the, bought the plane ticket, which is what I did with Iceland back when I went to Iceland. I just had a feeling I should go. And I was kind of trying to get over a guy. Well, I was, I was in the middle. I was trying to get over a guy or like commit fully my heart to a guy um, who I had met actually the night of the Diamond Club party at South by Southwest. So that's really interesting. Ah. That's a different story for a different time. Yep. Um, that was an intense night. But yeah, so I went and I was like, oh, I'm going to like fall in love here. And what happened was I fell in love with myself. And I fell in love with the humanists and r- the Renaissance. And really just I fell in love with art again which is really incredible. And again, by art, like I totally mean my Tay Allen funny stuff. Like, cause I think of that as art, obviously, <laughs> but it just, there was so much passion and verve in the people who lived during the Renaissance. Like when you look at the side of the Duomo and the intricacies and the architecture or like at all these frescoes, even if it's not your style of art, you can tell like these people didn't have any modern technology or anything. So they would commit their entire lives to creating like a novel or a piece of work or piece of art with all this intense detail. And it was just so inspiring to me as a human, like you don't have to be Mm. an artist, but it shows me how much emotion and passion and commitment and fervor uh, humans can have. And I think that's lost a little bit now in our like super, you know, social um, computer only world, even though I love it because I'm getting to connect with you guys right now. But we know like the the bad side of it where you're just like scrolling or you find yourself like nine BuzzFeed quizzes down and you haven't seen anyone (laughs) or done anything in a week. Like that side of it is a little more negative. Anywho, that's my little artsy fartsy rant. I ate all the pasta, but I really, it just made me want to be alive and to inspire others to be alive. But whatever that is for you, like if that's gaming with your friends or if that's reading a book, like it it doesn't have to be like go and make a painting, but just to, just to feel. Yeah. Um, yeah, that is, that's fantastic. And one, one of the things that I loved about Italy when I was there as well, uh, because I, I used to live in Germany and I visited <coughs> Italy briefly. <Humble> and <coughs> well, I mean, military sent me there. <coughs> uh, <laughs> no, but when when I was in Italy, like I, I kind of got the same vibe. There's only one other place besides Italy that I got that exact vibe. 
and that was in Paris, France. Um, just the, you know, exactly what you said, the, just looking at a piece of architecture or a piece of art and, and just trying to fathom the, the dedication that it took to create this thing. Um, yeah, like it, it yeah. really makes you think and makes, makes your brain go to these places of, of, um, uh, I don't know. You said it best. That's that's really how I feel every time I drink soju. Is that kind of what you're going for? Here? <laughs> that's the shortcut version. <laughs> yeah, if you don't mind, apply to Italy. <laughs> some soju, some pineapple juice, and a little bit of Kool Aid. Call it a night. Yep. <laughs> yep. Oh my god. Uh, plane ticket to Italy or a uh, trip to the corner store. Your choice. <laughs> <clears throat> well, first of all, if you have soju at the corner store, why are you not just going to the corner store every day? Because <laughs> I know I would be. Uh, yeah, so soju, for those that don't know, is a uh, Korean magical concoction that transports you to other worlds. Yes, yes, yes. So does Kay ah. Allen, and she's free. That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying, guys. Uh, chat room, take that as you choose. <laughs> exactly. Oh my gosh, Tay, what what else do you have going on these days? Oh my gosh, well, just went through a little breakup, but that's okay. And um, yeah, I'm super excited. Like, well, honest answer is. I am really open to the universe. Letting the angels guide me because I don't have a job, which I'm not scared about. Like I definitely, you know, phased out of what I was doing and I have so much creativity. Like I just feel so inspired. Like it was so meant for me to be laid off um, because I just feel so committed to like going for it and really creating what I want and everything. Like I'm just going to be throwing so much shit out there. Like here's a collab or here's this song or here's a cover song, like all different genres. Like I literally math text to opera. I just, I have so much bravery and conviction in creating. So I, I like found that and I have that and I'm just like going hog wild for it and not letting fear stop me. But I would love the support from all of you out there because I think like people think that I'm really brave and in some ways I am, but there is this like little part from my childhood that I think, you know, it's just like a little scared, like, Oh, like you can't do it unless like, it's like perfectly planned out, you know, or mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, not having everything like, yeah, it's like planned out from the beginning or something how it's going to go and having control. That's probably what it is more than anything. Um, and I want to just do things with all abandon. So I would love to support anybody out there. And I support you in return. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. So we said in the middle of the show that uh, we would give you an opportunity to call out all of the places that you live on the internet so people can follow uh, what they like, whether it's Instagram or Facebook or YouTube or, or you were whatnot. Stretching so much. <laughs> Show. Can we call out the stretch? I love it. I love it. It's so cute, but it's such a stretch. <laughs> um, in other words, we've gone over an hour now and it's time to tell where we can be found on the internet. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Cool. <laughs> My name is actually spelled incorrectly in the episode title. <laughs> It's T A Y A L L Y N T A Y Allen. And um, yeah, you can find me Snapchat, Facebook, T A Y Allen Pop Girl, YouTube, T A Y Allen. My Twitter and Instagram are The T A Y Allen. We need to look, okay, Diamond Club, I'm putting you on this. We need to look at who has just T A Y Allen and whether they still have that shit and whether we can hack that. I'm putting y'all on that. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I just like, I'm really committed to this again. And it, it's been a journey, you know, life takes you in different directions, but I'm back and I want to interact with everyone and talk with everyone and get to know anyone I haven't met yet. I feel like I'm friends with all of you, but I know there are some people, you know, that are still, you know, maybe in the shadows or who 
yeah, I haven't, I haven't interacted with yet and I would love to meet you. So hit me up. Let's talk. Excellent. <laughs> Kent, how about you, man? Absolutely. Uh, anything that matters is going to be posted on Twitter at RM underscore Del Noche. Uh, if I do something elsewhere, it's probably going to be reposted there on Twitter. So check me out there. What about you, Amos? Um, well, first of all, Tay, I wasn't expecting you to realize that your name was spelled incorrectly. I was kind of hoping to slide that under the cover because last time I forgot the, the Y in Allen. And uh, so this is kind of like replacing the E there. Um, it's the worst name. I, I, I was, picked this name, and it's the worst. Yeah. I, I, was, I was hoping you wouldn't catch it so I can call you out on it afterwards, but no. Uh, anyway, um, I'm. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Ethan Kane, E T H A N C A I N E. Uh, man, I'm gonna. I, I I'm almost made that this time. Almost. Yep, yeah, almost. Uh, that's pretty much the best place to find me. But you can find the show at Ritual Misery. Go ahead and tweet us. Tell us uh, your crazy, uh, crazy ideas for what Tay should do with her creative life next. Uh, at Ritual Misery. And you can always submit ideas like that and give us uh, examples on our subreddit at ritualmisery.reddit.com. You can find all these links and more ways to support the show and give feedback at our website, ritualmisery.com. We are live every Thursday night at 7 p.m. Pacific on Twitch at twitch.tv slash ritualmisery. And uh, thank you so much to Kid McCloud for allowing us to use your music for Tay, for Kent, and for me. This has been your Ritual Misery Podcast. See ya. Hopes you have enjoyed this broker. <laughs> oh, there we Yo, go. welcome to the post show. Post show. Oh, where's the other? Where's the other audio thing? R I T U A L M I S E O I. Yes, thank you, Flavor Toothpaste, for that. <laughs> um, yeah, welcome to the post show. <laughs>